Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 14 of our Let's Play series for Victoria 3 where we're taking Portugal from a minor power to hopefully at least a major, possibly even a great power. And we've made it to May 1863, so we are almost 30 years into the game. We have uh, reformed our nation substantially, passing dedicated police force, uh, proportional, proportional taxation. Um, and a secret police to uh, counter the subversive elements that have arisen and resulted in almost two, or th well, one civil war that broke out outright and then two civil wars that we have managed to avoid with intelligentsia. Let's go ahead and unpause. And yeah, my woes with the audio continue, guys, but I think I finally figured it out. I think the last few episodes actually recorded without uh, music. Um, again, I have figured out the reason. It was a little, a little setting I changed in my attempt to improve things um, in OBS, but now that should be sorted. Now, in a previous couple of episodes, uh, right, we have been expanding our colonial holdings in East Africa, and we have finally conquered uh, Vristat, the state of Vristat, which contains a whole 12 uh, size gold mines. There's potential for 12 side gold mines, and we're in the process of building them up. We uh, we actually don't mind. Let's keep it at speed three. We don't even mind keeping uh, you know going to deficit because as we build up those um, industries, uh, we'll build up uh, gold mines. We should uh, fix our budget deficit rather quickly. Okay, arts academies in Beira. Okay. Um, Belgian Dutch rivalry declares, but for now we're going to take a pause and just consolidate our holdings here, although we would like to get Tswana and Griekenland nations as well, state in Tswana, Botswana. Yeah, we want to get Botswana, we want to get Tswana North Cape, we want to get Griekenland. Yeah, we do. We do want to get these uh, because they contain even more gold. But for now, we need to take a pause. Um, diplomatic ties with Mexico lost. Brazil lost. Brazil is in their interest in Iberia, and so has Mexico. Okay. Otherwise, we're doing well. Right, our country's run by petit bourgeoisie and Catholic Church. Uh, intelligentsia has resigned recently, and armed forces. Uh, just kind of we included those to bolster, bolster government legitimacy. Otherwise, we're boosting petit bourgeoisie. They're all loyal. We have uh, um, the fruitful multiplied tra trade activated. And we have gone a long way to pleasing the Catholic Church, even so far as moving from freedom of conscience to state religion, which has annoyed our intelligentsia greatly. Otherwise, we are you know, colonizing as fast as we can, racing against time. Wow, Great Britain just exploded here. But what can we do? So have we. We need to, uh, you know... We're just going to continue to secure all of these holdings. There we go. One gold mine. One gold mine built. And we can see as it starts to get... Is it fully employed? No, it is not employed at all yet. Okay. Is there enough peasants? Is that... It should be. Yeah, there we are. Uh, no, sorry. That's paper mills in Verstat. We need gold, gold mines. Universe that need to be employed urgently. Tools, yeah, there we are. Let's employ them first and then we'll change to atmospheric engine and further boost uh, our output here. Now we do, yeah, we do have minus 20% loan interest rate from treasury bonds. So actually, Fairly efficient for us to borrow, yeah. So we've we've brought down the interest rate from twenty percent base to minus minus two percent from banking, minus two percent from central banking. That is actually a flat a flat decrease. That's sixteen percent, and then we another twenty percent on top of that. We uh, remove with petit bourgeoisie treasury bonds. So petit bourgeoisie is working uh, right to uh, yeah, lend to the state and help us build up those gold mines. That's excellent. Now we are finally, you know, I have gone over this a few times before, but we are finally drawing down on our investment pool quite quickly as well. Now that we have so much, you know, so much construction, especially with these new construct we had, we've conquered um, 
or Bristvat and Transvaal, which although they're in Africa, they're actually fairly well developed, it seems. Yeah, so that's uh, two extra construction sectors. Um, and that means our... Uh, our uh, we have enough construction now to uh, deplete our uh, investment pool, right? So you see our private sector is spending on new construction but only reinvesting 6.11 thousand. So now, you know, we should be worried. And we are researching postal savings, right? So that's very good, very timely. Post postal savings will do is increase shopkeepers and farmers investment pool contribution efficiency by 15% each. Uh, that's great. We're also going to start switching some of these, for example. We are producing gold, right? We're producing gold, and that should... Okay, I really hope they haven't changed that, but minting. There we are. So now we're minting 500 base, 10.8 from cost domestic product. So our domestic product has grown to 10 million. Wow, that's because we, yeah, we took over these states, which had kind of probably like a million GDP each. And we are also... Transvaal, gold fields in Transvaal, are giving us 3.1 thousand for our budget. And Vristat is giving us a further 3 thousand from gold mines and gold fields. And we have banking and central banking increasing that by a further 20%. Gold fields is something that we discover. Oh, there is actually more gold mines here. Excellent. And they then either get depleted sometimes, as far as I understand, or sometimes they get converted into gold mines. Let's go to these gold mines and switch these to atmospheric engine pump. Right, and that will increase the output. That will also, you know, um, actually employ some capitalists. Right, bring those into our nation. We do need tools and coal, however, in Barista. And we have coal in here. And we have tools in here as well. Uh, okay, sorry, let's just do raw iron tools. Um, because we don't have any steel in our economy. Uh, what I would like to do, frankly, God, we have universities here. Good God, gracious. Okay, we still don't have enough infrastructure. That's because we're missing motors, right? Um, can we import motors from someone? Engines, British market. Let's go. That doesn't cost us any bureaucracy. Go ahead and import that. Hopefully that builds up. We need infrastructure in Vristat urgently. Our population. Okay, there is migration, net migration into here. Vristat has received four from Madeira and Cap Verde. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, more coal mines. Oof. So let's see how are we. So yeah, so this is 1.24 million and there's another one. So we just added 3 million to our GDP by invading these two nations. Yep, yeah, gold mines fully employed. Excellent. Excellent. This is exactly what we want to see. We want to extract as much gold out of here as we can possibly can. We're missing convoys now, and that is not good. Let's have a look if there are any traders we can actually cancel. They go fruit to Britain. Doesn't require any convoys, however. Mm, yeah, let's just keep these in for now. It's fine, we're going to just have to live with uh, this lack of convoys for a moment. Let's just focus on our gold mines. Yeah, so we're producing gold. It's always at base price, right? It's always at base price because that's, gold doesn't actually use anything. You just mint it. Right? You, just, you just mint, yeah, they go plus 22,420 minting. Right? And get some pollution. So we need coal and tools though. Um, but that's, again, that's only for profitability of this building. But we need to make sure we don't result in a shortage here. Yeah, more gold mines being filled. Logging camps. We need yeah, gold fields employed. There we are. We're fixing our <clears throat> fixing our budget surplus. So these railways are not providing enough infrastructure. Why is that? That's because we don't have enough engines still. Yeah, we're not actually spending money to support these as well mm. an agitator appears Pedro Moniz has appeared in Portugal he will join the movement to enact cultural exclusion oh. again supporting interest groups intelligentsia and Pedro Moniz from petite bourgeoisie 
Well, it would take a, it would take a, it would make a million individuals more loyal. Cultural exclusion, government. I feel like we might have to give in now, but I mean, if we do, Petit Bourgeois would actually oppose this change. Yeah, we don't want to annoy. We actually, there's no support other than this movement. Hmm. So let's get this maybe agitator out of here. Ambitious diplomat reformer. He's liked. How about we exile? Are you sure? Yes, yeah, so let's just exile him. And we try to uh, rem get rid of this. Hmm. Until the is still very angry with us. So we, we are suppressing them. They should be marginalized by now. Why are they even... Why are they even out here? Uh, is that because they are... No, it's because our head of state maybe supports them. Co Congo Orientale. Establish the colony. Okay. Where is that? Congo. Denmark here. Great Britain. Yeah, they're kind of taking that over. But we took over the best parts. Yeah, this is, this is where we want to be. Alright, yeah, there we go. Our... We have reduced, yeah, there we go, we built another gold mine, so we're now producing 73 gold in here. We do urgently need tools and coal, preferably locally. The tooling workshops we should be employing. We're going to go to Transvaal. Do we really need livestock ranches in here? But we're not. Yeah, there's no labor in there. Population construction sector logistics unlocked. The greatest guns in the world don't matter in the slightest if the soldiers equipped with them are too exhausted and hungry to aim, or if the guns themselves have no bullets chambered in them. Plus 20% conscriptable battalions. Okay, power of the purse is spreading. We have universities here. Like, do we really need 15,000 people here? Like, do we really need that? Like, hmm. Like, we want that in our capital state. Alright, so we kind of need to... Do we need the barracks here? Not really, right? So let's... Uh, yeah, let's first... Let's release this kind of labor. So let's go military. Southern Africa HQ. Let's look at these infantry. Hang on a second. Let's just slow down. Defamatory article okay we'll see about that let's just disband all of this all right fourth army of portugal i just want to understand so if we go line infantry vristat yeah vristat vristat for example these I'm just going to remove them skirmish infantry in transvaal again i don't need any armies here we don't need any armies here, so we're going to remove that. That's extra 3,000 labor. Right? We have universities here. Jeez. We have two railways, so yeah, we have more than enough infrastructure. Fine, that's kind of future proofs. That, we have construction sector here. I mean, fine. I guess let's keep it if it's already there. We do have a want our gold mines for the employed, and they are, so that's good. We want our tooling workshops to be working here. Alright. We kind of need more, more people working in tooling workshops, and we need coal mines. But maybe coal, Transvaal, how are we doing? Transvaal, we actually have plenty of peasants. So perhaps, atmospheric engine, do we have tools here? Tooling workshops. We do have... In fact, have tooling worship. Let's do raw iron tools. All right, and maybe coal mines. We'll put an atmospheric engine pump here since we urgently need more coal just in our economy broadly. All right. There we go. That's coal mines. Okay, that kind of fixed it a little bit. Now, these will all be discriminated against. That's why I don't particularly mind maybe having capitalists here. We are going to need to. Uh, focus on the three states we have because we still have plenty of peasants in our yeah, well, 300 400,000 peasants in our home states and that's what we should focus on we're finally running a small surplus excellent again more gold mines being built and right, that is exactly what we want to see they're very much profitable 
have a look at our budget assets. Okay, we are depleting our investment pool very quickly now. Mm. So we kind of have, you could say, too much construction now. Although, you, know, you, see, you see, we say that you know too much, but we can afford to pay for all of it ourselves. Well, almost once these gold mines are built, especially, so we can keep the thirty-five construction that we have. Although, right, we definitely need more labor, more labor here. So we could could just disband this one. Right, reduce strain on our economy. Mm. Well, we already have it, so. But to be honest, yeah, we already have it, but it would be better to just build another construction sector in Beira, for example. Right? Rather than. Yeah, but at the same time, we do want to build the gold mines as quickly as we possibly can. So let's not reduce that construction capacity that we have. We'll just take it wherever it comes from. Let's go through a defamatory article event in Madeira. A newspaper called the Madeira Bulletin has printed a bigoted article about the Afro-Brazilian people living there. We can suppress the article, we can let it be released. Uh, Portugal minus 5% authority or ignore it. Minus 1 standard of living modifier for Afro-Brazilian in Madeira. So we're going to ignore it. Since we are, you know, we're going with national supremacy and role-playing that. Cultural exclusion keeps building uh, radical individuals, however, that is, that's not great. I mean, 2.4 million are politically unaligned, so it doesn't matter all that much. And we want to, we do want to keep, you know, like Portuguese national supremacy, as you know, it's, it's the Portuguese that are in charge of this empire, and we don't want anyone to be mistaken about that. Now we do, we do also want, uh, you know, like tooling workshops and such. Um, yeah, and we want to keep them in petite bourgeoisie as well. Right, so the reality is yeah, we want to build our tooling workshops where they actually needed, so where, where the raw materials are produced. When we, when we do eventually move up steel and wood, it will be in Alenteo, since this is where our core iron deposits are. Postal savings unlocked. A valuable method for people to save money, even if they do not have, to have access to a bank. Postal savings promote the storage and flow of money among even the poorest citizens. Excellent. So now, yep, that will help with our investment pool. That will help with our investment pool. Excellent. Um, what are we? And next, we're researching percussion caps so that we can actually uh, transition our army to skirmish infantry. Now, is there anything better? We can get mutual funds, ten percent minting. Well, our budget should now be completely fixed. You know, once we build up those gold mines, we'll have more money than we could ever dream of. So we need to build up our military and naval techs so that we can actually uh, take advantage of those. Um, we can just, well, actually I think that's spreading, but it's fine. I'll just queue this up, you know, well, although dynamite is something nice for us to research because that adds dynamite to all the mines, including gold mines. Now uh, that, you know, that this will be a great boost to our mining and especially our gold industry I'm just going to schedule schedule that in again we'll change that if we have to yeah uh, you know but for now we can queue that up private sector is building cotton plantations in beira okay and more gold more gold being added mined and chance we're just going to yeah i mean this is an absolute priority because there we are More and more and more and more and more gold. You know, the tools that we have in our nation are flocking towards that. There we go. 
And you can see our minting now. Absolutely crazy. All right, we're minting 3.1,000, 4 4.3 plus 2.5,000. So that's 4.8, 6.8. It's almost, it's almost 10,000 we're gaining from gold mines. And we're not, and we're only at level four out of 12. Plus another three levels we have available here. You know, we can schedule that in. They can accept the French conversation, political movement disbanded. Excellent. Finally given up. We know this is just, it's just not happening. It's not on. We need to make sure we keep up with the infrastructure here. Are we keeping up with the infrastructure? No, we're not because we don't have the engines. Now, we could go to our buildings and construction. We do have steel and motor industries to be built up. Um, we do have enough infrastructure. So let's go ahead and get a decree going, road maintenance in Ristat, right? That will give us some more infrastructure for the time being. Yep, and we'll also speed up construction here by 10%. Right, and that is where most of our construction going. And actually, uh, you know, investment pool is free construction, but at the same time, it does take away from construction that we're directing. So even if we do run out of investment pool right now, Okay, I won't worry about that too much because won't worry about it too much because then we can just use all of the 35 points of construction we have towards what we want to build and we need to prioritize these gold mines. Like That's absolute number one priority. Yeah, we're not building any contagious diseases act. Okay, the Catholic Church in Estremadura, led by Alberto Capello, are demanding that the government take a stance on prostitution. They request the enforcement of laws that allow police to detain women suspected of being prostitutes in locked hospitals on the grounds that they spread venereal disease. Enact a Contagious Disease Act. Catholic Church plus one interest group approval to minus percent standard of living for lower strata. Estremadura gets Contagious Disease Act for 19 years. Minus two standard of living. These laws are inhumane. Uh, no, but we can't afford. Yeah, we have to enable it. For 19 years, minus two standard of living for the lower strata. I mean, it's only in one state. Jeez, but. I mean, how's that not. It's not inhumane, guys. Minus two. We have a lot of population here, but yeah, but there's. So, all laborers, I mean, they're gonna get really radical and I mean, their political strength is high all right minus two just just flat minus two I mean, it will be a net minus one because we will get plus one from charity hospitals wow these laws are inhumane but then we're gonna oh, if we do this we're gonna lose be fruitful and multiply and to regain it we're gonna need to get back up to level uh, you know, 10 approval Gonna go ahead and enact Contagious Diseases Act. Fine. There you go. Oh, they just went to uh, six. Okay, they're gonna get radicalized. It's fine. But we're going with fine. We'll role play that as, right? Catholic Church has brought a lot of good to our nation, and so we're going to support it no matter what. All right? Exactly. Instead of uh, you know doing God knows what, why don't you focus on growing the population of our mighty nation right how are we gonna how are we going to dominate the world and gain back our major or even great power status now we're still 30 prestige away we need to we need to sort out our budget and then build up our navy in order to be able to regain that major power status these gold mines still still not fully employed so let's have a think so we're building another, we're halfway towards building another level, but there's just not enough labor here. Cool, so it's tooling, textile, paper, urban centers. I mean, universities, do we really need universities here? I mean, I would say no. All right. Mm, that gives us, what, five and a half innovation. Yeah, let's go ahead and just remove these universities, get that 15,000 people, all right? We don't need universities in Southern Africa. 
need universities in our capital state. Right, that will obviously slow down innovation, but it will create 15,000 unemployed. Now, very quickly, we'll find great jobs like subsistence farms. Oh, oh the academics, you know, they can apply their, their scientific method in the gold mines. All right. We do. I mean, ideally, kind of need that local economy here. And it's 10.5% construction efficiency from turmoil. We really need. I mean, these are unincorporated, and that means that these gold mines have a throughput bonus as well. So, yeah, there we are. We're finally in surplus, and we're about to build one more of these here. I mean, this is really should just be focused on our gold operations, tooling workshops. Come on, yeah, let's get these going. Throughput minus 20%, minus 10% from colonial exploitation. 10% unincorporated state. Oh, yeah. So there's no point in being tooling workshops here. Coal mines we can build here so that they can supply coal to our gold mines. Right, so we could do that. We could. Baking powder unlocked. Baked goods have been around since the dawn of civilization, but only with the advent of baking powder has baking at an industrial scale become truly possible. Um... And we could, to be honest, we could, you know what we could do? So we could expand our construction sector for like two levels in Beira and then remove construction from uh, right. if we do this. Yeah, we get two levels of construction in Beira and then we remove construction here because we need all the labor employed in gold mines here. That's what we need. All right, now we're already, okay, a massive surplus. Yeah, so that will help us. Let's get these construction sectors going. All right, and now we have enough surplus to actually just hold off on building the, these gold mines. All right, build more construction and just direct it then towards building up our other industries. Okay, these are again fully employed. All right, we could build a coal mine here. Yeah, I don't mind building a coal mine. You actually supply coal locally, keep these uh, gold mines profitable. I mean, they're obviously very profitable anyway, but it's fine. We don't want to raise the price of coal across our nation, so this will be uh, it will be good use. It needs tools. Uh, we'll need a lot of coal here anyway, so we'll switch that. Netherlands colonized Gabon. Okay. We're kind of competing with Great Britain here. Okay, we actually... Okay, well, there's a little piece of South Angola left. Otherwise, we're good. France colonized Ubangi Shari. Okay. We're still missing, obviously, engines. And yeah, some coal is needed here. That's okay. As long as we have enough infrastructure. I'm happy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's 10,000. So we are building more and more and more construction. Right, and that's actually really good because we're now yeah, getting rid of these unemployed. Alright, yep. More tools. Let's go ahead and just go to our buildings. We need the tooling workshop in Alenteo. Okay, that's that can be built next. Then we built the iron mines. I built coal mines, yep, there we are. Okay, our private sector is building tooling options in Estremadura. Excellent. Okay, our economy is gonna it's gonna it's gonna take off now. It will really, really, really about to take off. Okay, we need more iron as well. Well we need more tools for that. And again, we don't wanna I still don't wanna switch that. We could sort all of our iron mines problems with just switching gold discovered in transfer. Gold's been discovered in transfer state region can now support additional gold fields. Wow. Okay, Petit Bourgeoisie petition government representing his constituents in the Petit Bourgeoisie. Tiago Carmona has issued a formal petition Portuguese government to pass parliamentary republic. We will see what we can do. Um, okay, well, it is Petit Bourgeoisie. Ah, oh, that will, to be honest, greatly frustrate. Yeah, Catholic Church landowner is going to get really angry. 
Mm, the chance of petit bourgeoisie or post monarchy. It's because of the leader, the thing is. It's because of the Republican leader, Tiago Carmona. That they support. So you see how they actually support monarchy. Yeah? So Petit Z endorsed monarchy and theocracy, but because they have a leader, he overrides their uh, kind of inherent ideologies. But I mean, she's a reformer ideologist of herself. Oh. Okay, not sure how we're going to navigate that. Let's keep this speed two. Now, our construction sectors are missing everything wood tools and iron most importantly okay well we're building two tooling workshops so that will sort things out and then we need more iron right much more iron to be honest right buildings and why do we again why do i not switch to uh um to switch to capitalism just produce more iron because i want all peasants to be employed and I want these to continue to be owned by shopkeepers right thereby we move our move our peasants to becoming oh there you go gold rush gold has been discovered in Transvaal people from all corners of the earth are converging there confident that they will discover the next great load and become incredibly rich spread the word Transvaal gets 125% migration traction 20% gold fields throughput mine it's all mine yes some migration attraction and more more money is what we need we need to pay for this construction we're now at 44 guys right so we got yeah we're gonna now that we have a lot of construction huddle with the budget surplus especially we don't actually need the text we need we need to build and get peasants employed in uh more gainful industries right and spread the wealth spread that middle class get that petit bourgeoisie up so we can actually maintain cohesiveness of our society which is fracturing to say the least all right, but as long as we get everyone's, you know, these peasants, you know, we keep upskilling people. Uh, tooling works is employed in Estra Madura, excellent. As long as we keep employing people, okay, we need more wood. But we kind of, uh, yeah, we got all the wood we can here. I don't want to spend any more. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to build logging camps in Estra Madura because I want to save that labor. Where could we build logging camps then? Well, we don't have a lot of labor because these peasants. I mean, we have 116,000 in North Angola. We could build logging camps there. Transvaal still has 41,000, but this is all needed for my mining. We have 146,000 Lorenco Marquez. We have logging camps and there's throughput here because these are unincorporated, right? So we could kind of build a couple there, right? So you kind of go like, yeah, it's kind of, Difficult to move these. Oh. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna build two more logging camps. Get that supply of wood. Oh, that's it. With our private sector has completely depleted the investment pool. We're now directing all of our construction towards what we want, which is not actually too bad. We're obviously, running a massive deficit again. That's okay. We can borrow now because we know how how exactly we're going to pay this off, right? And we're gonna pay that off by building those gold mines. Now, before we build them, we just need to build up our iron industry, tooling. Yeah, we're doing fine with iron, tooling, log. Right, we need logging camps to be built because wood is expensive across our market. Again, I'm not moving up the production methods because I want to keep that middle class. Landowners are no longer powerful. Uh, fine. Yeah, we do want to keep petite bourgeoisie, keep that financing rate as low as possible. We want to keep Catholic Church, keep growing our population at 100,000 a year. That's pretty good. That's 10 years. That's an extra million people. So we need labor, 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 and we need to construct, construct, construct. And for that, we need, you know, re government revenue. And for that, oh, okay, there we go. They actually have activated again. So they will, you know, re-save uh, up enough money, you know, eventually start building a building. But boom, okay, more iron here. Okay, price of iron has kind of stabilized. Uh, okay, more logging camps, more iron. Then we get coal and then we come back to building gold. 
Uh, we can do a construction sector in Estramadura even. Got more construction. In fact, I would just go do less construction in Estramadura. Well, that's possible. We can actually build more in Beira. Um, yeah, we still have a surplus. So as soon as the private building is being built, we're actually running a surplus. So we could even do with even more construction sectors. Although, if we build more construction sectors, we need more iron and more wood. We have tooling we have enough of. Let's go. Let's actually build up this iron and wood. The home improvement relations. Yeah, so these are coming out very quickly. Yeah, I think this is a good good mix. And do we have enough infrastructure here? Oh, we're kind of running out. But we will build a port here as well. We could do with more convoys as well. So this port in Alenteo uh, will in fact, and we need to kind of too much prioritize that because once we build these iron mines, we'll be out of infrastructure here. We don't want that. We could just drop in another construction sector. In fact, I'm not going to build it in Estramadura. I'm going to build another construction sector in uh, Beira. No, let's move that up up the chain to right here. They go after we build our iron mines, we build the construction sector again, speeding up construction even further. Get those ports going. All right, so if we go to construction sector, okay, wood is still expensive. Iron, okay, we're gonna build more wood. Do we need more wood? Uh, logging camps of nine here in Lorenco Marquez. All right, obviously high throughput. Oh uh, yeah, we could even build build these up to like a further four levels. In the way, it's probably easier to just drop these down. Dialects unlocked, plus one Mac education institution investment. Applying philosophical concepts to material conditions produces, produce, condition produces, may create novel concepts and perhaps new political ideas. Okay. Yep. So we continue. Build, build, build. Yeah, okay, not a lot of peasants left. Well, not too many left here. Oh, we do want to build that steel and uh, motor industries eventually, but we need to... Uh, oh, plus 21,000. How's that? Minting, yeah, that just keeps going up and up and up. Not sure why that fluctuates so much. I think it's just something a little off with the game. Again, look at our construction. So just keep an eye on this, right? So iron is expensive, but all right. Okay. And we're building another construction sector. Right, more iron demanded, but we're building more iron. Let's build these coal, a bit more gold mines. We can, yeah, build pretty much all of this. Naval base in Estramadura. Okay, we can live without that for now we can finish this millet farm when it comes then more logging camps probably put these up there so we don't have to pay quite as much for our construction we could even just build one more level of iron buildings i'm just going to drop this down we go build more iron more logging camps get that port constructed so that we can actually uh have proper access to infrastructure in Alenteo and deliver that iron to the market. There you go. We have 50 construction now. Let's keep it at that level because we are running a pretty massive deficit now. There you go. And that's fine. That's we are cutting our limit right now. All right, and we can check that by going to our nation modifiers. In terms of construction, right? So we have 49 max weekly progress actually plus 30 so we could go up to plus 60 and then we could build two buildings at full full speed all the time all right well, you see we have a healthy queue now budget is healthy gdp is soaring soaring literacy is going up stand of living though is kind of stagnant yeah the population is growing Okay, number of radicals changed by 20. Okay, we are reducing radicals. We are gaining in loyalists. Yep, so this economy keeps growing, right? That will continue to happen now. But we do want... Ooh, French, yeah, okay. So, so 
for a dumb punk. Is there anything else we can grab? We actually can grab Zulu land. Okay, let's go ahead and encroach on Zulus. Uh, North Cape. Colonized Northern Cape. This is all severe malaria. North Cape, Southern Africa doesn't even have. Okay, well, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and establish a colony here. We're just going to grow, grab some of this land that's not uh, under control of a centralized power. Right, because fine, we're just competing with Britain a little bit here on the last pieces of, uh, what is it, Zambezi? Yeah, Zambezi. Okay, uh, Angola, we have now fully colonized. Excellent. Yeah, okay, let's just speed up. We're building up Port and Ellen Tail, more iron mines, etc. We need more gold, gold mines. We need to get back to constructing these. The tools will have to come from outside of this province. Why? Uh, because uh, because of these are unincorporated states, uh, they suffer from a penalty. And because we have colonial exploitation, the, any manufactories suffer from output. So to be honest, like all of these will need to close down eventually, frankly. And uh, um, yeah, that la the label will need to be redistributed to other places. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and close these down for example it's okay they already lost all of their cash reserves uh, normally that does create quite a bit of few radicals because when you close down a building the cash reserves are lost and whoever owned that building those 500 say shopkeepers or a hundred or so uh, capitalists they get frustrated because that you basically just wiped out their savings the Contagious Diseases Act. The armed forces now entail that by Antonio Jose Severim de Noronha demanding a solution to high rates of venereal disease among their men they request the enforcement of laws that allow police to detain women suspected of being prostitutes in locked hospitals on the grounds that they spread venereal disease. Uh, the laws are inhumane. Yeah, it's okay. We can we can stomach uh, reduced approval from armed forces, but we can't stomach an additional standard of living decrease. Uh, I'm not really sure why that fired up twice. I mean, it's a bit unfair, so to speak. Now, Zulu... Oh, okay. So, I think that what's happening here is Basuta was a decentralized, yeah. Because Zulu is actually a centralized nation. Do they have any gold? No. Fine, then. Because what we really want... Yeah, we want Tswana Northern Cape. They are a decentralized nation. What about Greekland? Yeah, there. So, we can colonize these and gain more gold from there. Okay, we are building logging camps and iron, all to really just reduce the cost of financing our construction sectors yeah there you go can even speed this up to five okay iron is still expensive everything else is at least reasonable okay but we are now constructing 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 yeah more wood let's get coal in brisvat yeah that's just like 10 weeks we are surging where okay we are building up our deficit rather quickly but we need yeah we need those gold mines there you go we're back on track Building up gold mine, gold mines in Vristat. And we will, yeah, I think it's actually a good idea for us to research dynamite. Frankly, I would even do that before researching railroads. Race, railroads might be spread to us. Percussion cap unlocked. The percussion cap is a single-use device which allows firearms to operate reliably in all types of weather. Okay, yeah, I think this is, yeah, currently being researched. Uh, no, can we just focus on dynamite? We need to get dynamite. And that will take, well, three years for nitroglycerin. And another eight years for dynamite. That will greatly increase output. Output of our uh, mines. And exile at the gates. The relatively lenient Portuguese immigration system has long been attractive to those fleeing their home nations. Recently, Pedro Moniz has petitioned to join the stream of people moving to Portugal. Who is he, agitator? Uh, we will not have someone like this regardless of precedent yeah and to be honest industrialists are marginalized anyway so it doesn't really matter how, how they feel about this okay more gold we're building steel and motors now in alenteo okay let's just get that going rubber discovered in gambia excellent i think to us we have like enough territory now we can grab a few of these colonies right it's one are they are they decentralized? What about all of these guys? Yeah, they're just, so we can grab all of this, almost link ourselves up to 
with South Angola. That's kind of enough resources. We need to actually like build this up now. Uh, let's have a look at our buildings, construction. So we're building steels, motors, a millet. Then we can get more logging camps. And then we can get on with more and more and more gold mines. Yeah. Well, to be frank, I kind of want to prioritize these gold mines. Have a look. So coal mines are employing people, right? Tools, and they're producing a lot of coal here. Mm. Gold mines. But we need this to be fully employed. And that means we need to get people out of things like this construction sector, for example. We can just, I mean, that does give 0.4% state construction efficiency. Mm -hmm. so we could just remove this one, get 5,000 people out there. Right, I mean, there's no point in, well, actually, there's no point in having these tooling workshops. So, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and close these down. Same with these textile mills. Gold depleted in Transvaal. Oh, hang on. Gold has been depleted in Transvaal. The state region and now support fewer gold fields. And that's okay. So gold fields, yeah, they're kind of temporary, but they sometimes get converted into gold mines and as you can see we can actually have six levels so some of these will get converted but some it's not won't necessarily let's keep building keep building up some in Vristat but that's out of labor so we will build up some ooh, in Transvaal actually all right so for example Transvaal gold in Vristat we can go drop this so we'll, next four levels we'll build in Transvaal where we actually have labor uh, let's just go ahead and you know, get these steel and motor industry going though if we do that we're actually fine on infrastructure here so to be really honest we could just prioritize these transvaal gold mines because we have labor here all right we have these gold mines yep well, let's just build these 19 weeks i mean we'll build three in a year that will sorry gold feels depleted the rich mineral deposits in transvaal have been drained mines are being shuttered and all the prospectors who moved in are beginning to drift away in search of the next big strike. Unfortunate, or we just can't let them leave. No, it's unfortunate, but it's fine. Yep. So not all gold fields will be converted into gold mines, right? So there's some easy gold sometimes, but it's kind of a temporary boost. Colonization of Zululand completed. Yeah, okay. So we got the, the little province here that was decentralized. Okay, let's focus on getting most of the Botswana here. Yeah, we're competing with the United Kingdom over here. Uh, hang on. So what is this? This severe malaria. Yeah, we don't want to go there. There you go. GDP is surging. We can go ahead and just speed up. Right, not much else is happening. There isn't much else we want to be happening, really. Although, the uh, Metropolitan Police... Actually, the petition to, uh, interesting, so the petition to enact um, a republic has gone away. Interesting, okay. So hopefully people are getting happier. Loyalists are building up, so that petition, it has gone away, right? Domestic affairs. Okay, law enforcement equal to five. We do have plenty of bureaucracy, so we should actually, to be really honest, yeah. Let's just invest into this. Minus 75% state penalties from turmoil. Minus 25% radicals from standard of living decreases. So it's about 101 weeks. Bureaucracy will build up slowly. That's going to be 80 bureaucracy eaten up by that. But um, we will, however, um, yeah, gain less effect from turmoil. Although, where we actually have turmoil, which is in states that we've conquered... Um, yeah, we need to incorporate them first, but we actually don't want to. We want to just exploit these gold fields because we get plus 20% throughput here. All right, so I kind of want to keep these. We just do violent suppression, extract as much gold out of these as we can. All right, and we employ. And there we are, we're building two. There you go. More and more and more gold. Right, this one isn't even fully employed and we've almost built another one so we're building four so we are borrowing heavily right kind of 
Well, that's it. We're not going to do any more construction. Power of the Pros gives the ability to make purchases for the, to the captains, allowing for a much more autonomous and effective fleet. Okay. All right, once we get dynamite, we can just build explosives industries in our home state. All right, and supply dynamite to these guys. There we go. More gold. That is what we want. All right, yes, yeah, so we are building up again. We're, we're, spend, we're spending 4,000 a month just on interest now. But that is all for a good cause. Our investment pool has been completely depleted. That is not so great. Again, we're just building like six levels here. Um, hang on, actually. We're not building six level. Let's go over that Transvaal. Um, yeah, so let's build two more gold mines in Transvaal. 12 weeks. Then we build the motor industries in Alentejo because we have now steel. Yeah, we do have steel, but nothing to actually dim, um, nothing to actually produce in there. We are also running out of peasants in Alenteo, which is not good. We still need like a couple of probably levels of sulfur mines here, eventually. Hmm. But similarly to okay, we are. Here, hmm. just kind of thinking. I mean, we do want like a solid industrial base in our home states, but at the same time, Transvaal has right forty-five thousand peasants. It's got plenty of capacity for iron mines and coal mines. So we actually produce iron here. We could switch to atmospheric engines, get more iron into our economy. Yeah, we should probably focus on. Yeah, there you go. Law enforcement up to level four. Focus on um, tooling workshops. For example, yeah, even even if we build them here in Beira, right? But, um, but now we have steel produced here. That's a little tricky. Kind of I do want a couple of levels of tools because otherwise, um, yeah. So that's kind of what I was planning to do. We don't need motors right now to be rid of. So let's get logging camps up there and then we build these motor industries. Water tube boiler unlocked. The water tube boiler is an improvement on the original boiler by splitting up the water into smaller tubes. They would heat up faster and thus improve efficiency. Okay, water tube boiler for all sorts of manufactories. Condensing engine pump for coal mines and gold mines. Okay. If we now go to our gold mines and do condensing engine pump, again, just more gold. Right, again, we're going to use more tools and coal. Transvaal has plenty of coal, right? Like, we could even build up the mining. Like, we need to extract as much as we can. We get 20% throughput. So, we've built a lot of, you know, iron mines, I guess, in Alenteo. That's our home state. Arguably, now that I'm thinking, maybe we build too many. It's good to have some, I guess, for that industrial base. Like, you don't know what's going to happen here. And, like, iron, steel, vertical kind of industry chain is useful have always under your control in home states but we could actually build more here yeah, there you go now when we get dynamite we can get even more gold out of here well, we have plenty of peasants so why why aren't they yeah let's go 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 guys okay i mean so buildings aren't that profitable tools and coal all right we do want tools and coal The Britain colonized police brutality. The use of extreme force is becoming increasingly common among gold uh, police officers, gold officers, police officers in Beira. The working class and the socially conscious are rallying against the police as an institution. We cannot tolerate this behavior. Oh, we'll lose one level of police to interest group approval for rural folk and intelligentsia. Or well, the use of force is warranted. Petit bourgeoisie and armed forces get plus two approval. Five percent of lower strata become more radical. Um, it's okay, let's just keep the peace. We cannot tolerate this behavior. We are going to lose a level of police, but let's just keep... Yeah, well, it's fine. We'll just keep investing into it. It's fine, it'll take a bit longer. It's not imperative that we get it right now. 
Now we have enact poor laws uh, movement. Um, and we have enact racial segregation again. And also poor laws. So who opposes this? Landowners oppose this. Otherwise, a little bit of support from industrialists and trade unions. The rest don't care. Let's go ahead and enact this, right? And that will placate this movement, create some loyalists that we need. And we can afford it, right? Because we got incredible budget. Proposal for defensive pact with Isaac. Who are you? I recognize a regional power. Line. We don't we don't really know you. Oh, Britain. Fascist East Africa. Wow. Okay, we need to be mindful of that ourselves. Uh, we don't want any insurrections. We are ruining our plans. Okay, gold mines. Increasing employment here, output is at its peak and 25% throughput as well. Wow. Just just stripping. Stripping these lands. We have any yeah, that's it, and there's still more to come. So let's go ahead. Just keep pressing ahead. Keep constructing. Why is this not come on? Is it hiring people? Why is it not hiring people? So this down trade route exporting diet to Prussian market is inactive, I guess. Diplomatic ties with Prussia lost. We're no longer able to conduct diplomacy. Oh. Well, that is a shame. Yeah, we can't oh well actually. Um declare interest. We now have natural interest in Zanj. Let's go ahead and declare an interest in North Germany. Because we do want to access to those markets don't we wait hang on and in fact we have three All right and there's been two from navy projection so let's do this let's get I mean, great britain obviously has an interest italy maybe so we can trade with them and what france potentially is that where we want our strategic interests to be All right just so we can trade with them all right, so can we reactivate that, please? Let's see, what's we'll it? Oh, yeah, it takes a bit of time for... Uh, it takes a bit of time for the interest to be reestablished. Now, again, we have a surplus. That is great. Yeah, that's because... There you go, we're paying off that debt. Okay, again, running a deficit, however. We need to bring down the cost of our construction goods. That's one thing we can do. Houses of Faith. Advanced event for enactment of poor laws. The prospect of workhouses, including religious instruction in their work, has allowed the proposal of poor laws uh, to gain favor with the Catholic Church. Religious practices are key to the moral discipline the poor need. 10% interest group political strength, approval, 20% enactment chance. 10% of Protestant pops in Portugal become more radical. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Let's get, yeah, we need approval. We need to maintain our approval on the Catholic Church, for the Catholic Church. Right, that's a key pillar. Right, it's monarchy, petite bourgeoisie, the middle class, Catholic Church, and armed forces. That is, that is what our country is made of. Okay, these gold mines still need to hire more people, and I'm a bit surprised. There are peasants. What is the issue? Is it uh, we need to reduce tools and price of coal, perhaps? I can understand. Coal, and even do like three levels here. Coal mines in Transvaal. Okay. Coal, coal. Okay, let's bring bring down the price of tools across the nation. Hopefully. I mean, these suffer from minus twenty percent throughput, so I mean, they're already there. So we don't want to radicalize people. That's I'm kind of okay with. Uh, but we do want yeah, more gold, more iron in Transvaal, water industries. Okay. These steel mills are kind of not doing anything, which is a shame. Okay, more tooling workshops in Beira. Yeah. Then yeah, all of these are still run by shopkeepers. Okay, let's get these unemployed employed. Get that middle class. 
Law Enforcement Decay back up to level 4. Excellent. All right, now by the time this gets fully employed, all right, we have another level. Okay, more, we need more wood. Jeez. Now because we're keeping this at like such a low kind of tech level, we need more of everything. But to me, that is a good thing because we're gaining, yes, we're spending construction, but we're employing more and more people. And we've come up on the hour, guys. So I've got to go ahead and pause the game here. We are in 1870 now. Um, yep, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully we're speeding through the game a little faster now, but I think we've gone over all the core mechanics, but let me know if you are, again, down in the comments, if you have any questions or, you know, about what I'm doing and why. Otherwise, see you in the next episode. Bye.